Welcome to the Lift Zone. It's your boy Nate. Today, I'm not driving, okay? Today, what I want to do is I'm going to put y'all on the same level as a mechanic. You might be like, okay, how is that? Guys, I got this product that I've been using, okay? It's the o OBD2 Diagnostic Interface. Can y'all see it? Take a good look. Take a good look, okay? Yo, guys, what this does is you put this... In your car okay there's a little thing underneath your wheel that the mechanic puts the diagnostic piece in okay so you put this in your car and then you're gonna download an application this application is called twerk and I'm gonna show that also you download this application and what happens is they connect through Bluetooth they connect and you search for the fault codes the fault code is gonna come up why does your car say um, check engine soon? Why does that check engine soon light come on? It's going to tell you why. So it's going to read out a diagnosis, a diagnostic code like P0101. Okay. You Google that and you want to get a bunch of, okay, why is this code coming up? Some of the things you can fix. Okay. Some of the things you'll be able to sit there and look at a YouTube video and okay, I twist this, twist this, put that in there, boom, it's done. Okay? And some things you won't be able to do, but you'll be able to go to the mechanic and see what he says. When he runs it, what does he come back with? If he comes back with something different than what's on your diagnosis that you already know, you know that's a dishonest mechanic, okay? But if he comes back and says, well, no, nah, you know what? It's probably just an air filter. And that's the same thing that you got on your diagnostics, boom, you found a guy that you can trust, okay? So what I'm going to do is, um, in a few here, I'm going to show you how I put this in, and then I'm going to show you as far as the Torque application and how you actually find the codes so that you can be your own mechanic. You could be your own. Now, I'm no disrespect to no mechanics, okay? No disrespect. It's a profession. Okay, and they're good at what they do, but this is giving me power. This is giving me power of what's going on with my car, so I'm not so dependent on the mechanic. Like, oh, please, sir, just tell me what's wrong with my car. No, I know what's wrong with my car. Okay, why? Because of this OBD2 got upside down. This o OBD2 diagnostic interface. Check me out, y'all. This is my car, this is underneath, okay? Then what you're gonna do is feel around, okay? And it's gonna be a little place that you stick it. I gotta kinda feel it with your hands because it's too tight to get underneath, okay? So, you gotta make sure that it's on the right side. I wanna say that it's like this. Okay, bam. And then once you have it, once you have it, you'll kind of see the lights go on there. Okay? So take a good look at that. Take a good look at that, okay? Okay, so now what we have is the um now what i'm showing you is my screen shot and um what i'm going to do here is i'm going to press the obd check okay so i turned my car on and we're going to go to the obd check okay so now you see that i have my obd check so got it okay so now what you'll see is i have this obd um this torque engine diagnostic or management diagnostic tool okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit fault codes and when I hit fault codes now it's telling me what that I have um, it's a powertrain issue okay it's a powertrain issue P0101 mass or volume airflow circuit range performance problem so what I can do is um, I hit I actually hit the button and now it's saying that I can look it up on the web. So I can go in, look it up on the web, and it's going to tell me exactly 
what's wrong with my car okay so here you can see that it pulled up the zero one the uh, P0101 OBD trouble code. So it's telling me what can be wrong with my particular issue. So it could be wiring, it could be a MA um, a mass air filter sensor or air leak, something like that. So all this from a $20 app basically. Okay, do you need to see more? Do you need to see more from this baby? This thing is bad. Okay, this is a bad man I mean, This is one of the best appliances that I've got in a while, man. So look, what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start putting y'all on to the different products that I use, okay? And I'm I'm only putting quality on, okay? I'm only putting quality on. So again, go to the description, um, click the link, it's gonna take you right to Amazon. Take you right to Amazon, you'll be able to get it. You know, Amazon shipping out things in one day, okay, one or two days. So get this bad boy and put yourself at ease. Get your get give yourself a nice state of mind when you're going into the mechanics, man. Because look, this car is our bread and butter, man. So it's time that we take care of it. And if you want to know why it look like I'm in an alley, because I'm parked in the back of my house. All right, look, man, it's Nate Lipzone. If you got a question, holla at me.